I want you to pause the video right now. I know it just started, but I want you to pause the video right now and just go ahead and buy this. Just go ahead and buy yourself one of these aberrant Rocket NVMe drives. Do it right now. This is a Gen 4 one terabyte NVMe drive. It's gonna be about the same speed as the two terabyte and about twice as fast as their 500 gigabyte drive when it comes to the, uh, the write speeds. Should be about the same when it comes to the read speeds all the way across the board. Now, a lot, of, a lot of these tech companies, they throw around terms like rocket and turbo and booster and all this stuff to make things sound really fast. But Sebrant, in their case, they're not throwing that term around. This thing is ridiculously fast. Now, there's gotta be some trade-offs, right? When something is this fast and this performant, Usually you're gonna be like, oh, well, there's only a one year warranty. Well, it's gonna burn out. No, no, no. If you register this online, you know, once you get it, just go and register it. They give you a five year warranty. So there's nothing to worry about there. Really long uh, life. It's got a Fizen P S5016 E16, one of the best rollers out there going right now. 96 layer TLC NAND flash memory. The bill of materials is spot on to get insane performance. As long as they don't do anything crazy like some of the other companies I've seen in the past do where they like, they make make a really good drive for a couple of years and then they cheap out and change out the, the you know, the NAND flash memory or something, change to a, a different controller, which I don't, they, they've never done anything like that. So don't think it's gonna happen, but unless something ridiculous like that happens, I can't see much being uh, faster than this, unless of course they use pretty much the same bill of materials. So let's talk about the unit itself. You have a couple different options here. You can see there is a very mild heat spreader on top. That's not gonna dissipate a ton of heat. You guys can get a beefier model with a, a thicker heat sink. You know, a lot of this is gonna be dependent upon what you have on your motherboard because a lot of motherboards come with these big heat sinks already pre-installed on the motherboard like armor and stuff. I've got the Asus X570 Hero right here and that has the built-in armor, but I wanted to test it without that on top. So I removed the armor just to give you guys an idea of how it would perform uh, without the ridiculous heat spreader on top. And of course it's uh, PCI Express Gen 4, so we do need this. And to make sure that we don't have any bottlenecks, we have the uh, Ryzen 9 3900X on this test bench. So another thing that's kind of impressive is the price point. Uh, right now it's 199, but the prices always go up and down. So what we do is we put the uh, link right in the top of the description. If you guys scroll down, you'll see it and you can see what the current prices are. Now I wanted to compare this against the MP600 from Corsair, which is a drive I'm gonna be putting into my upcoming system. Um, and that one has a beefier heat sink on top, but I wanted to see if it was the same speed because it's around the same price point, give or take a few dollars. And as you can see here in the AS SSD benchmark, take a look at those 4K results. So random stuff is gonna be really nice. Slightly faster in most categories, a lot faster in some. So Crystal Mark is another interesting story. Um, you can see the randoms here, a little bit faster on the right, actually quite a bit faster on the right on the Sabarent, uh, thanks to that 750,000 IOPS. I mean, the Corsair also has really good specs. And then you can see the sequential um, read for the Corsair is a little bit higher here on the Crystal Mark. But otherwise, these are very similar, but we're gonna give an edge to the Corsair overall with the crystal disc mark. All right, we wanted to uh, check out pass mark. And the first thing I wanted to show you guys is just the general uh, IOPS overall, where the Sabarant really excels. And that's gonna help with just general computing, just moving small files back and forth and just doing stuff on your desktop. Both of these drives are gonna feel faster than anything you've ever seen in your life. And then when it comes to the read and write scores, you guys can see there, uh, the Corsair is the F drive, and this is the E drive, the Sabarant. But you guys can see the results on the screen there, very similar test. Sabarant wins a few, the Corsair wins a few. Now here's where uh, things are a little different. When you look at the read tests, the Corsair has that much beefier heatsink on there. So that's why I'm gonna recommend to spend the extra 10 bucks to get the large heatsink if you don't have it built into your motherboard. Remember I'm testing this without the help of the Asus X570 Hero heatsink on top. And you can see the Corsair is a few degrees cooler during the read. So take a look at the right. It's also um, you know, pushing 74.2 degrees, which is not ridiculous, but I would much prefer to be running this a little cooler. So once I put the heat spreader on top of there, it'll be no problem whatsoever. But out of the box, the Corsair does run a little bit cooler thanks to that huge, beefy MP600 heatsink on top. And lastly, just to see like the raw speed, we ran Atto Disk Benchmark. This does compress data, so it's gonna be maybe even faster than what you would see with just general transfers around on your computer. But it really gives you an idea of just how fast these drives are. And on the left, we have the Rocket. On the right, we have the uh, Corsair. 
MP600, Force MP600, and you can see all the way down there at the bottom, this one maxed out at 5.22 gigabytes per second. The Corsair got 4.38 gigabytes per second, but the write speeds were about the same. I'm going to go ahead and say that they would, they're, they're going to feel very similar uh, with probably a slight edge here. But the one thing I also want to note is um, when it comes to like the smaller files, they're pretty similar in performance and just general computing, the IOPS and that sort of thing, they're pretty similar. But price to performance ratio, this is a monster. So it's really hard to go wrong with an NVMe 1.3 drive. Uh, that's PCI Express 4.0 in an X570 motherboard. All those numbers make me so happy. God. All right, so the warehouse has moved here to Portland, and I have more control over it. I can get my hands on the goods. And uh, since I have more control over it, I might be starting to throw some, like, random goodies into the bags because I'll be in the warehouse doing stuff myself. Um, the mice and keyboards. New low prices on these, so be sure to check those out. Um, I, we dropped the prices down to, like, they're just new low price for all of them. The keyboard, the mouse... Uh, both mice, the Swift, and also the standard issue, one's 3360 and one's 3310 sensor, which is my favorite. Go, go fight me, I don't care. I feel like I need some more announcements, but that's all you're going to get. We'll see you on the website. All right, it's the end of the video.